Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Awan Kenneth and if this is your first time here, welcome to my channel. Remember to click the subscribe button. Let's get into this. We're gonna make this money. This is 2020. You know what? I'm a rapper. If you ever. Anyway, let's get into this video. This video is all about 2020 and how you could start investing in this year and just basically just growing, you know from 30th December to hot boy January, you know, so that 2020 December will also be another 30 December and you will spend your life savings again, but you have much more money and you can go to Cape Verde this time around. I'm just saying, it's a possibility. We have to dream into end it. You know, Instagram motivation teaches us that we should believe this thing that they can happen for us. This video is about getting started on investing. I must tell you guys that any part of this year, I had the experience, <laughs> yeah, not the opportunity, I had the experience to see houses where you pay 20 million per year in Abuja. I didn't believe it, but I saw it with my own eyes and I saw people like tenants actually pay. So I didn't say any governor's daughter. But let's move on. This video is also about the basics when it comes to getting started with investing. Remember that I'm not your financial advisor and you should probably get one that doesn't wear black shirt and have a really hair. And also, um, this is just pure content for my YouTube channel. Now, I'm going to talk about three platforms here. The first two are Nigerian based and basically for the Nigerian economy. The last one will be for like Americans watching this video and you want to get started. I have used the first two for the last one. I haven't used it at all because for some reason, I think we are a S-hole country and we're not allowed to, but we have VPN and we can use that. The first one is Investment One. It's a Nigerian company here. It's a platform that I opened an account 2018, but I haven't added any extra money into the account until like the early part of 2020 for a very good reason. I am very paranoid in the sense that I do not want my money to just wake up one day and be like, can I see you in seashells? Like, catch you by. <laughs> that is why I haven't added any money. So when I had the opportunity to come to Abuja this year, 2020, I quickly went down to the yeah, Abuja office to be like, hey guys, hmm, hope you guys are not like going to up my money, right? And they were basically like, they are backed up by SEC. And I was like, what's SEC? Securities Exchange Commission. And I remember way back in the day, I wrote a competition for the National Stock Exchange and I won one. So I know what that regulator does to the market, to the financial markets in Nigeria. And I was like, okay, cool. I might add more money into that platform. And I was okay with it. Like I did the proper research to know what this company is all about before I put in more money there. And bear with me guys, it took me like two years to do this. So after watching this video please don't feel motivation until like i need to do this now like grow at your own pace everything takes time and just be comfortable and make sure you know about a lot of it before you jump in headfirst into the swimming pool and break your head but <laughs> that is not my point anyway with investment one i subscribe to a product called abacus and abacus is their own version of a money market fund where they buy treasury bills bonds and commercial papers from like Tanguti for instance and give us a dividend every quarter which is also reinvested back into your capital if you want that if you don't want that, it will pay into your account. But I suggest you want the first option because compound interest. If you don't know what compound interest is, please read up on it or wait for one of my subsequent videos when I will get the time to explain that to you. Don't worry, I will have a lot more info. And the rate for the Abacus Fund always fluctuates depending on how the market is doing. It has gone as high as 15% per year and it has gone as low as, I don't know what it is right now, but whatever it is right now is as low as it has ever gone down to due to the current policy and market change in Nigeria. I heard 8 point something percent. I'm hearing 5 point something percent in some other um, money market platforms. I'm also hearing 7, it depends on the platform you are currently investing with. Investment One also pays you dividends every quarter like I said 
and it's quite manageable to be honest you get a platform where you could track how much you've paid into how much you've removed from that account and all the financials that goes with it and to be honest it is a straightforward platform and please don't share your password with anyone the second one is called axiom and Z. now this particular platform i also opened an account in 2018 but i can tell you for a fact how much is still there 20,000 naira. to be honest it's just 20,000 naira. and why i didn't do that or why i didn't increase the amount is because your boy is afraid of mmm right mmm if you don't know what mmm is please ask your nigerian friend they tell you the nigerian government hasn't even declared anything on those people and a lot of sensible people people who we have held in high regards their money also vanished right on that platform so <laughs> nigeria is a country of possibilities just saying that anyway i have also looked into the platform and it's also quite reputable i think it's backed up by sec or i haven't visited their office so until i visit their office before you guys will be hearing from me but right now axelman said it's a good platform to like research about and also get started on to be honest and they have two products that I have seen. They have the money market for one, like Abacus, and they have the equity market one, where they buy more stocks and mix it up with like money markets, which is like a nice general price. But if the economy is volatile, <laughs> it's like Senegalese or Ghana jello fries. I'm not starting any battle here. Yeah, so that is Axel Mensad, and you can check it out on your own. The last but not the least is Robinhood. This particular platform I have not tested it out, but you wouldn't blame me because for some reason Nigerians are not allowed to open account there. But I have seen a lot of ads on it, and if you have a um, VPN, if you want to go through the extra stress, of doing that you could create an account there but there are other alternatives to robin hood for nigerians there are some two apps that i'll be looking into and hopefully doing a video about them early next month hopefully and get to talk to you guys about it but for americans watching this i think robin hood is a good platform based on the reviews i have seen so far on the internet and it's something to search and research more about and just get a feel of it you can try testing like five dollars and see what happens hopefully they'll be like five dollars is too small let's not steal your money now let's wait till it gets to like ten thousand dollars then we'll do you abracadabra <laughs> i am joking i am really really joking but anyway thanks guys for being here see you in my next one